Hello good day viewers. This tutorial will be based on an introduction to trigonometry. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content. Before we start, you should know that this video is not in any way a promotional video. I just feel like wearing this shirt because it is mine. And secondly, someone advised that I should include lower class mathematics, which by God's grace, I will consider doing. All right, let's pay attention to the introduction to trigonometry. The word trigonometry is a Greek word. Trigono here stands for triangle and metry measurement. So trigonometry is a branch of mathematics that deals with what? Study of the relationship between the side lengths and the interior angles of a triangle and nothing more. Um, suppose we have a triangle, we know it is a plane figure that has three sides and three interior angles, something like this. This is a triangle, right? Let's call this angle A, this angle B, and this angle C. Capital letters. So we donate capital letters for angles and small letters for side lengths. So this side lengths opposite to C, we call it C, small letter C. This one, small letter A, and this one, B. So you can only see two things here. The interior angles and the side lengths. So the whole concept here is talking about the relationship between these side lengths and their respective interior angles. And as you know, we have so many different triangles. So this chapter will focus more on right angle triangle. What is a right angle triangle? This is how it looks like. Something like this. It is called a right angle triangle because one of the interior angles equals 90 degrees. So this angle right here is called 90 degrees or is measured 90 degrees. And we always have a reference angle, either this or this. If we are talking about this one, in most cases, we call it theta, which is a Greek letter, right? Theta. But it's not most, it's just to indicate an angle, uh, which is an acute angle, an angle less than 90 degrees. So we are going to cover a lot under this trigonometry. And I have some of the things that I would like us to go through. I don't know for how, for how long we are going to cover the whole of this chapter. But we are going to talk about Pythagorean theorem, which is mainly based on right angle triangle. It's talking about the relationship between sides. We are going to talk about trigonometric ratios, which is a concept that deals with the relationship between the angles, the interior angles, and the side lengths. And we have like six trigonometric ratios the sine, the cosine, the tangent, and their reciprocals. We have cosecant, the secant, and cotangent. We are going to talk about trigonometric identities. We have so many identities, we are going to talk about them. We are going to talk about sine and cosine rules. We are going to talk about angles of elevation and depression. We are going to um, talk intuitively about unicycle because we have a lot on that unicycle. We have trigonometric functions, we have inverse trigonometric functions, we are going to go through trigonometric equations. We are going to look onto the graph of trigonometric functions and even the transformation of this graph, even the graph of inverse trigonometric functions and any other thing that comes to my mind along the way. So this is basically an introduction. So people may expect more than this in the introduction, but no, because we are only talking about side lengths and interior angles. Of a triangle and nothing more and I, as I told you we are going to pay attention more on the right angle triangle the right angle triangle is, is a triangle that has one of its interior angles to be 90 degrees so when we meet next we are going to start with Pythagorean theorem and some people call it Pythagoras theorem bye bye